Hi guys, it's Mary from Glimpse and Beyond. Hope you're having an awesome day. We got hip to Helen. Hi. Hey. She's got a new show, you guys. You can call into her and talk to her. Yes, yes. Tell us your phone number again, Helen, because I love this. It's all angel numbers. Love it. It's 443-601-0773. Okay, fantastic. Which, which totals of like four sevens, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> pretty impressive so what do people talk about well um I'm getting to know the people from the chat that we don't normally hear from so um every show is a little bit different um I had a uh I I kind of am just going with the flow when I get a download or inspiration then that's going to be my topic for the night and then I present the topic and then I get people to call in and comment on it so that's basically how we're running it right now I love it my original vision was like the Frasier show or um oh I can see that if you ever watch like Sleepless in Seattle you know where the little kid calls in and he's concerned about his father so I mean eventually I would love for it to be a call-in show like that but so far we only get about maybe two brave people an hour so (laughs) Okay, you guys, it's a phone. You don't have to be brave. You don't even have to make a phone. Like, it's a phone. So last night I had Liz call in. Liz Olive called in. Oh, nice. Good she was, she, she was made like, my shirt. Oh, yeah. She's so good with the shirts. I know. Yeah. I, I love it. And um, and then Justin. Oh, um, yay. Intuitive Alchemist. Thank you. I knew mm-hmm. Alchemist was in there. And he shared a lot about... um his children last night. So I was really, really impressed with that because the topic was, um, I'll send you the link, but, uh, the channel's called reality check. I don't know if you're familiar with, uh, his name is Jay, Jay Weiner or something like that. Oh, don't know him. Um, and it's, and this probably is happening to you where the video pops up in your feed. And if you've never seen them before and it's like, okay, I'm going to watch this. Right. And he had a lady um, on there who is a art historian and she brings to the table the fact that and this, uh, this blew me away. The whole Renaissance was a, is art is a cover up, a lie, a sham. Yeah. And that art was never meant to be monetized. It was never meant to be hoarded. It was never meant to be, you know, what, it, what we know art is today. Right. And um, during the tar- Tartaria, golden years art you would you would get up and you would make your own art for your own home and it was a spiritual experience yes it's a it's a spiritual connector and then um it helps you manifest it helps you bring these beautiful things into your home so everybody did art for themselves and um and it was nothing like we've been presented so i mean i was gobsmacked because i was thinking oh wow another another area that I was unaware of that we've been lied to about you know I'm so glad someone brought that to the forefront because I've kind of always known that because like Mm. like we call it art therapy why do you do that because you're literally bringing it to life whatever's inside of you yes it's sacred yes and so the woman mentioned that um it was it's a tool to help us ascend and that just fired off in my brain like yes okay, I got to take this to the airwaves. So when I get inspired like that and she asked, would you please tell whoever you know how important real pure art is? Correct. And how it helps you ascend. It connects you with the divine. It raises your frequency. It does everything. It really does. It does everything. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so I've been substitute teaching and I thought, you know, it's interesting to me when students really connect with me, they draw me a little picture and it's always a heart or a rainbow, which I remember loving drawing rainbows when I was a kid. So that, you know, I've always, it's all these little questions, right. That sit in the back of your mind for years. Yeah. And like my mom being the stay at home mom, like on the napkins because she had three kids and then the fourth one came along later in life but like she would put like the little hearts on the napkin yeah so when you yeah. opened up your lunch like you felt your mom loved you still yeah like we forget <laughs> her in three hours of school but you know like stuff like that yeah it really does <laughs> I did that I did that it's interesting we're saying it right because today is Valentine's Day yeah oh my god I totally forgot when you said that yes, yes 
<laughs> the little hearts. Yes. Valentine Happy like, Valentine's like Day. Like you meant everybody. to do that, Mary. <laughs> I really didn't. I forgot it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> And Sorry, so honey. a little about me, humor is my secret weapon. I have just been wired this way. Like I love you, it because we're you, the same way. Yep. <laughs> if you tell me to be funny though, like on demand, oh, it, no, doesn't I can't happen. Do it. it doesn't right. happen. But but if I'm just in the mood, oh my gosh. Yes, which it, is great. <laughs> you guys got if you're in my room, you guys know her and JR go back and forth all the time. <laughs> yeah, we we banter a lot. <laughs> you do, but I love it. Yes. Constantly thanking me for that, which, I, which is even more funny, but I know, but as your, your channel grows, don't be surprised. Cause you know, it goes so quick on the side when you're trying to read it and then you guys yeah. are going back and forth and it makes the channel keep jumping. And you're like, okay. Well, right. Because as the channel grows, you're not going to keep up and then you, you gotta, no. you gotta keep it moving in the chat. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but it's, it's quite fun because I get totally enthralled. I just want to stop. I'm like, I'll be right back. I have to read, you know, see what's going on. Right. Full disclosure. I'll go back and rewatch my video. Yes. In the chat. Yes. <laughs> From the chat view. Yeah. Yes. I have to do that with some of mine because I'm like, I, I want to know what happened. Like I left off at such a pivotal point. <laughs> Because it's way more entertaining that way, too. <laughs> it kind of is, because you guys are so funny. And I'm yeah. like, I wish I could have you all on, because it would be uh, so fun. Yeah, because I think we're at a time where you get, don't lose your funny bone right now, guys. Don't oh, lose Oh, no, it. you need it. We yeah. need it. Yeah. Have your sense of humor, because there's just so much ludicrous stuff happening. Yeah. You got to yeah. laugh. I'm you sorry. Do you do have to laugh at laugh. it. You do have to. I like the meme, like somebody mentioned those Chinese spy balloons and, yeah. and there was a meme that was like you know they've been uh using TikTok to spy on you for years like why do, why in the world would they need a balloon at this point like that's absurd <laughs> yeah. yes and I'm like no now for the alien invasion like now like everyone, yeah. no one cares we yeah. all know we all know it's fine welcome yeah but yeah. like, yeah. no one's gonna freak out yeah so I, I have a little story for you. I right. learned, I I'm still in the midst of getting familiar with tarot and it's been a nice, slow, I like a slow process yep. of learning and absorbing. So a reader, and I watched several different readers, but a reader the other day pointed something out I'd never seen before. And I'm not even sure if you're familiar with this, okay. but the um, high priestess. So, you know, what's the order, yep. the fool, the magician, and then the high priestess. Yep. And then the Empress. So she, this lady mentioned that the high priestess is actually the sister of the Empress and that the high priestess reaches the ethers and, and gives the water. There's water in the Empress's card and she gives water to the Empress and she helps the Empress experience the abundance. They work together. And so I had never heard that before. I don't agree with that. Sorry. You don't agree with that? No. Okay. So what it conjured up for me, I guess I probably shouldn't use that word. <laughs> no, what it, I'm... the visual for me was like, so we were talking about people in 3D versus uh right. whatever. 4D, what, 5D, high, right. 5D, whatever level. And so I felt like instead of being frustrated about people in the 3D, think about that little story of their sisters. And you're in a higher spiritual level and you are helping guiding the person through their 3D experience. That's a nice way to think about it. Yes. Yeah. That's the point I was getting to. I mean, whether or not the card reader was accurate yeah. on that, but, but that's what fired off in me instead of getting frustrated on the woo side of who's ascended, ascended or who hasn't and stop caring about the 3D. And I feel like you're the, you're one of those examples of you just, you just meet people where they're at. Well, because you have to. We're all going to do this at different times. It's not going to be a big mass, like, yeah, like jump off. Yeah, don't know where that came from, but all right, we're not jumping <laughs> off anywhere, people. No, well, but everyone's going to ascend. We've been own... built up. We've been yes. built up with these ideas, and uh, now we're sorting. We're sorting it out, and there's been a lot of misinformation on Correct. all sides. I mean, Correct. 
I feel like I'm just out there with a big shovel or a net or something trying to sort this out, right? Yes. And so many of us have to still be in 3D world because there's still 3D responsibilities, especially when you have children and family. And 3D people that need us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And they might not be up to par yet, but it's kind of our job to try and help them. Yeah. I've been very blessed that my husband's been fully on board, but the rest of my family is deep asleep, except my brother who lives in Florida. Right. Right. So that's hard. Right. So maybe, have- yeah. So I was thinking maybe these people who <laughs> claim to be at a higher level, because I think if you're frustrated and mad at people for not getting out of 3D, you might be in 3D yourself with that you mindset. Are, you're, just, you're just getting <laughs> mad. No, because we are. I'm not trying to be a jerk here, but I'm just like, that doesn't make any sense to me. No, it doesn't. If, you, it doesn't. if you're at a higher level. I'll give you an, you you do walk the walk. Okay. You operate in love. I can tell. And and that's why so many people have so much respect for you because you're not trying to, you're not trying to push anything on anybody. No. And, and you just, whatever you hear, that's what you speak. You speak the truth and then we could take it or leave it. And I like, I like that. I don't need. Yeah. I'm like, take what resonates. If it doesn't go, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you say it repeatedly. Well, this is just what I heard. It's just right. what I heard. It's just what I, I heard. <laughs> and then like, what lately, am I supposed to do with that? You know? Right. And then like, you know, it's above my pay grade sometimes, apparently now. <laughs> okay. Right. It is, but I don't want to get anything in trouble. I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize. Yeah. Now I had an experience the other day, a friend of mine was she, she, uh, her husband, she got laid off and it was an answer to prayer. And then her husband's 3d and he's pushed her to get a new job and she mm-hmm. wanted to take the time off because she has a gift of healing and she right. felt like oh this is an opportunity i can i can you know work on that work on my skills with the reiki or whatever it is healing right. that she wants to do well he just went and leave her alone and that now she's in a new job not only is she in a new job but they have thrown her in the deep end like high stress insane right and yeah. so and so she wanted a reading from a different reader the other night and someone on the panel reworded her question uh, mm-hmm. as a friend of hers who was like, find out when she's going to be doing her gifting. You know, well, that wasn't the question. The question was like, how long am I going to be in this squeeze? Right. You know? Right. And so I got really upset for her. So I went and got my cards and I said to her, give me your permission. I yeah. just, I'm not even going to look at what he pulled or what they said, and I'm going to go myself and right. see what comes up. Well, it was so funny. It painted the picture of what I just said. So that was accurate, um, but it would not give a time frame. What the download I got was, this isn't about how long. No. This is about the sooner you stop fighting it, the sooner you go within and find peace in spite right. of where you are, the sooner it will change. So you can't. Yeah. And besides, somebody said cards don't give you time anyway. Like it, it's so iffy if they want yeah, to well, yeah. but it's so iffy to read them because I'm just like everyone gets in that conundrum. Like, is it gonna yeah. be this month? I'm like, we'll see. Huh. Yeah. And the time is irrelevant because and Do I you and know then, what time and, is. That's been my newest question. I'm like, what is time? Yeah. Time is know. irrelevant because it's about the lesson. And that was yeah. the point I was trying to say to her you're not being punished, but there's like a lesson in it. And so just embrace whatever that is, you know? Yeah. I hope, I hope she goes on her healing path because she really needs to be there. It's where her heart is. Yeah. She's got to open her heart space. Yeah. We have similar husbands. <laughs> okay. And uh, similar challenges. Like guys. I'm so sorry. I'm, yeah. so, I'm so fortunate that my hubby is yeah. awake or I'd be, ooh, I don't know where we'd be. Ooh. Well, yeah. And, you know, honestly, and I know this is going out on the internet, I don't care, but um, I'm coming to the end of a cycle and, but I have been told repeatedly to just let universe work it out and just be patient with the process. Let, let go, let God. Let go, let God. Yeah. And so a lot of people are like, who who care about me are like, no, you need to do this or you need it. And I'm like, no, every time. So I don't even focus on it anymore. I'm just doing, I'm just going that I'm going in, I'm going in. You do you. Yeah. 
And I said to people last night, it's so ironic. Like you go in and yep. then you pop, pop your head up and things start changing. And you're like, yes. well, damn it. <laughs> you're like, I've been trying to do this for 15 years. Why? <laughs> this is all I needed to do. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's so simple. It and is, but it's so hard for people to really go inside wait, sometimes been, because they don't want to look at themselves. And I'm like, you have to, you have to look at everything. I'm sorry, you have to. And yeah. that's what takes people a while. Well, and the programming, the programming of, you know, uh, struggle and poverty and all this makes you close to God. And it's like, no, 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 no. it doesn't. No, none of it. Not at all. No, no. And I just said the other day, cause, uh, my friend has a church background too. And I said, you know, it's interesting. You know, this is funny to me. The people that harp on your, po your poverty or yeah. your, you know, giving your all to a church are driving around in a Lexus Rolls Royce living in a million dollar house while the rest of the people in that church are struggling. I mean, yeah. and, and I've been in a lot of places. Okay. Cause I've yeah. traveled a lot and I'm like, <laughs> that was me growing up Catholic. And I, I was the only one in us to go to a Catholic high school, but it was because I didn't want to go swimming. <laughs> so my mom was thrilled. She's like, oh my God. All right. Mary so, had an agenda. Yeah. Mary had an agenda. I sure did. And I ghosted high school. You can have, almost no one remembers me from high school. It was fantastic. Yeah. Except for they put death and dying with love and marriage. It was a class I had to take. Weird, huh? Yeah. So the bishop comes in to talk to us and he's talking all about having to get annulments. My aunt was in a marriage from the 60s, got the crap beat out of her by her husband. Yeah. 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 So I asked him, uh, like, so like she can get divorced, but you're not going to welcome her back to church. Well, no, she'd have to get an annulment first. I'm like, but you're going to charge her for the annulment. He's like, yes. I'm like, so you're kicking her and her kids out at the time they need the church the most. He's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Oh, no, bye. Yeah. Nobody can shoot the wounded like Christians. <laughs> no, that's what I was saying. Yeah. I got yeah. class for saying that. Yeah. It's like, oh, sorry to point out the <laughs> obvious. I'm sorry she doesn't have three hundred dollars tucked away to pay you. Yeah. To yeah. let her kids go back to church. No. Yeah. How Christ like and benevolent of you. Right. Yeah. yeah. I know. I, I was know. like, okay, and I'm done. And the mom's like, Yeah, married in the Catholic Church. I'm like, fantastic. Okay. Well, I mean, my dad's a retired pastor now. He uh, and this is Assemblies of God Pentecostal. So I have oh, always God bless you. Ooh, so yeah. I've always been used, religion. I'm, I'm used to like the swinging from the chandeliers, but I've yeah. always been spiritual. I've always walked with God. I've always know I always know things, hear things like me too. You know? Yep. Yeah. So um oh man, I there was a point where <laughs> Welcome. To I was the leading up to a no. point. <laughs> My squirrel went right. out a squirrel. I do that all the time. Oh, Mary. Squirrel. We're, we're changing subject, people. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I I recaptured it. Um. So there's a lot of uh like the sister wives and the Duggars and all these uh -huh. like, cults, right? Yeah. And there there's a channel where she kind of she's doing she's like a gossip, right? Or or uh, reports on whatever is the current. Yeah. legal issues are and that was my eye opener recently because a lot of the way they twist scripture to control people and just what you're talking oh, about with marriages yeah. like that okay oh my god th those cults are saying that and controlling people and i've heard every single one of those statements in one in every yep. single church i've ever been in and it was just like you you can't trust any of it. You can't. Trust no. It. And the, the Bible is not even right. They've manipulated that. There's like right. three lines. They've, I've been told three lines in the Bible that we know of that are right. Wow. That's pretty I hope scary. I know. I hope I know them. <laughs> well, the first really one, do. people don't like me because I, I'm sorry, but earth's not round. Right. Right. And he get, put firmament over the earth. Hello. Right. I, you know, like, I don't understand what people aren't getting about that, but okay. Like a cake dish? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a mean way, because I grew up thinking it was round, but I'm like, it yeah. never made sense to me. And I always question my yeah. parents. I'm like, so we're going 90 gazillion miles an hour going towards this thing of fire. What's happening? Yeah. Yeah. But the glass is staying still on the table. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's so much. Yes. And, and I, I, 
I keep I saying am, it's like drinking from a fire hose right now. It really is because it's so much, it's so much has been hidden and kept from us. And we have to relearn everything. The more I learn, the less I know. <laughs> Liz, Liz I know. and God made the shirt. I know. I know. <laughs> Because it is, it's nuts. There's just so much that's going to come out that's going to rock people's minds. And that's why, yeah. it's kind of, for lack of a better word, I know everyone wants go time. We all do. It's got to be like controlled. I don't think controlled. they know what they're asking for though, because, and this is why my channel is in place. Yep. For a place for people to call in and process and get support. Yes. And get encouragement. That was the point of it. Because the truth hurts. The statement, the truth hurts is true. And, oh, it's so true. And they, you know, yeah, people where they're at, cause you might have someone who just woke up yesterday and we yeah. have to be there and welcome them. Yeah. I was in the military. I watched someone get screamed at out of bed. It's not a pleasant situation. I know. So, I know when they say, wake them up, who cares? I don't want to wait. I'm like, do you really know what you're saying? Do you really oh. know what you're asking for there? Like I, I just, but that's that mercy motivation inside of me that I just can't, I just can't, I, I want to see it in the most loving way possible. Well, a loving God is not going to do anything to hurt his people. And exactly, it, it could be years drawn out, but like certain aspects might be put in place first. And we're going to have to just accept that. Yeah. Yep. I know. I just went on a job interview and accepted a job. It, you know, in the 3D world today. Congratulations. Yeah. It's at a child care center. So, and you know, the never say never, I was like, I don't want to go backward and work with babies and toddlers. And it, and God and I have this funny relationship where it's like the very thing I say, I don't want to do is the very thing he's going to ask me to do next. It's almost like, I know it's coming. Yeah. But you can help, you can help mold them in the right way, not in the yeah, well, these are the star seeds. So I'm very curious to be around these little ones. Like they're fascinating. Our friend yeah. had a little star seed. Oh, she was born. Oh, mm. yeah. My whole yeah. heart went out to her. And I'm like, oh, and then she looked up at me. She's like, oh, like I know you. And I'm like, okay, hi, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. It was the strangest interview. First of all, I was like, yeah, uh, fact finding mission. That's how I treated yeah. it. <laughs> That's awesome. Because I freed myself from thinking in terms of money. Now I'm not gonna lie, I had a little bit of nerves and I pulled up at Abraham Hicks and it was the right thing I needed to hear. And it was about it was about don't use your logic, follow the vibration, follow, follow where you're being led. Don't think, don't think it. So I was like. I have had peace upon peace upon peace. So I said, fine, I'll get in the car and let's see what happens. It'll all fall into place how it's supposed to. Yeah. And by the end of the conversation, the woman was like, I really like your energy and I need your help. <laughs> yes. like, oh, okay. I love it. Yes. They need your bright, shiny light there to help those children. Oh, I love that so much for you. How old are the kids? Um, So it's infants all the way to 12 year olds yeah oh, you had me at infants Ooh, yeah, nothing better yeah. Than new babies I love them yeah so the next thing I'm navigating is like you know the fingerprint and the health yeah. uh, exam and and uh and so I'm tired and I just put it on the table and I said I'll get up tomorrow fresh and uh, yes hopefully accomplish it all tomorrow so yeah Wednesdays are a good day okay okay good I don't know. Good. Wednesdays, the middle of the week is like my day. De- it's my day to get things done. I don't know why that is, but like I put <laughs> myself more on Wednesdays than anything else. And I don't know why that Good. is. Good. Because I was like, but I did the interview this morning and I was chatting with you this afternoon. I was like, okay, because I'm learning to take care of myself. So yes. I, I'm learning to say, you know, that I think that can wait till tomorrow. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a great thing to learn. You're growing so much. I'm proud yeah. of you. Thank you. I know Jay Rocco says it too. He's like, you have no idea how much you've grown in a, in not even a year. I think yeah. it'll be July will be a year. Wow. <laughs> you have, you've grown so much. Look at you on YouTube and everything. You really put yourself out there. Not a lot of people do that. Yeah. There's more would, but not a lot of people do. Well, it's funny. I wanted to jump in in 2020, but that was when I was in that truth or mindset and mad yeah, you and get know. the word out. And but I still walk with the Lord. Right. And every time I went to that 
channel, I get that tug in my gut, like, nope. Yep. Nope. So it sat there. It sat there till uh, this the past time was year. right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And people, please check her out because she's awesome. Yeah. And I love talking to people. That's how I got into the whole idea. It was I like think the call in idea is fantastic because yeah. no one worries about having makeup on or you could be like eating chips at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> We're going to call Helen. Let's, yeah. Let's See, your jammies. Who cares? I know. I would love that. Yeah. Well, you they have to call in when you have time. I will. They literally like just threw me on YouTube. They're like, "Oh, go on YouTube." I'm like, "Oh, right. well, why?" I was like, Ooh. "I know." I, am. I know. Yeah. I was like, it was super quick. So I'm like, "Okay, hi." Yeah, I got over myself, but then I thought, "Well, I am beautiful. I do have you value. Are. You are beautiful. You have value. Yes. Like, who yes. cares?" Yes, Don't and you... people love you, and I, I love you, and I love Aww, hearing what you I have to too. say. I love the whole crew. We got a good crew. We really do. I know. We got the fun. <laughs> we really do. Every you... time a channel doesn't resonate, I kept moving. And then I landed in Liz and yep. Ava and you. And I go, yep. these are this is my this is my jam right like, here. This is right our people. Here. Come home. Yeah. Welcome yeah. home. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna have fun. We're we in... doing. We got them from all over the world on my yeah. channel. I yeah. mean, we got Kiwi Keith. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. guys, we have nicknames for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, and our beautiful Dal's Lane Intuitive Guidance. Dallas, she's from Australia. So she, oh, she did okay. a show with me. Nice. Yeah. I got some Aussies in there too. I love Nice. Them. I love yeah. that. Yeah. They're probably very lonely. Yeah. Yeah. They've been pretty cooped up, let's say. Yeah. And I sometimes I think they're a little more spiritual than Americans. Oh, they are. Yeah. They really are. They always yeah. have been. But yeah. I'm like, I also, I give that a lot of grace because they, they live on a continent where everything can kill them. Well, yeah. And I mean, allegedly, uh, the the largest amount of rescued little people yes. came out of Australia. I think they said a million. Yeah. Like, possibly That's, more. I think yeah. more. I think yeah. more. But it's a ridiculous number compared to anywhere else in the world. And I kind of into the point where I don't need to know why, but no. it does tell you a lot. Yeah. And I think that's probably going to be one of the first disclosure people, people, people. <laughs> yeah. Just so people know why, like why yeah. all this had to be done. Yeah. It's going to be great. It I know is. It really is. I am. Fi I have finally turned the corner on like getting excited. I am. Like excited. I'm finally getting, yep. oh, you've been there. Cause you keep going. <laughs> Come on guys come on. <laughs> That's why that was my invitation to you. This is okay. I'm in Mary's corner. All right. I got my, I got my brochure. Here you go, guys. 3d this way to the 5d over here, over here. It's going to yep. be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> and don't worry about it. That's been the and newest thing. That they keep telling me. They're like, don't worry about it. And I'm like, That's fantastic yeah. to help people. But I'm like, hey, try, try, Hey, drop down into me just for a day and then tell me how not to worry about it. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, law of attraction is. Yeah, but I just don't worry about it because yeah. they say, it, even my husband sometimes is like, God, you're really not worried. I'm like, I'm not worried about no. it. No. I'm just not worried about oh, it. Oh, it's so liberating to get in that place. It's so liberating. It, it is. really is. I oh, sometimes I worry about myself because I'm like, wow, I'm so in that place. Like, people, I love that. people in my family must be like, what the hell is going on with her? You know, but you're going to enjoy it though. And I you're told everyone. Yeah, I told everybody I buried my last fuck last year. I had a funeral for it. Yep. Bye. -bye. <laughs> I don't yeah. have any more. I don't have any more yep. fucks to give about any of this. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did that last year too, and yeah, the hubby did, did it when he retired. Yeah, he retired. He was just like, yeah. "I'm done," and I'm like, "Retire." He's like, "Can yeah. you do this?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "You sure?" I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, yeah. how do you know? I'm like, I don't know. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I only know what I know. You right. know, I'm like, I'm a... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I love know. that. I love that. I know. It makes me think of my grandmother. Have you ever seen the movie Moonstruck? Yes. Okay. They filmed that in my grandparents' neighborhood. Like oh, I used to go cool. to Camarieri's bakery with my grandfather to get breadsticks and all this oh, stuff. Cool. Right. But Olivia Dukakis in that movie, it, I swear they studied my grandparents 
and then they made that movie that's what it felt like because Olivia Dukakis like nails my grandmother like you know you wake her up late at night and she looks yeah. around like who died you know because she like my grandmother yeah. knows stuff like that yep <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> oh that's that's amazing i love yeah. that so much oh. I know. <laughs> it's just crazy and people need to listen to i mean even the children who are dreaming and they know where they came from you guys they know they're not lying to you yeah listen yeah they i know that's a lot i miss being in the school system but i could at the time was up i couldn't go back in there it's imploding i and, know and i can't and and it was one of those, you know, if I leave, it'll crash sooner. You know, like if more of us would just walk off, it would, it's like on life support. I, I know, but somebody it's going to implode itself. It's going to implode itself. Yeah, it's imploding. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But this child care center felt so different. I am all over it's the place. Different. We're it's all over so the place. different. I know, yeah. but it's so different than a school. Yeah. And it, and so maybe you can help me sort this out. Years okay. ago, my dad was a missionary to Honduras and I went okay. to Honduras and I fell in love with the people there and the children. Yeah. And okay, I stupidly had this vision of like an orphanage and not just a typical orphanage though, because people don't realize like third world country people um, don't think the way we think because of malnutrition. So, Correct. so when you run, when you do an orphanage, you have to have nutrition and education they have to partner yes. in order in order to give them the best of the best yep. so i was on a mission for that but it never came to fruition and then here we are 20 years later exactly 20 years later um i have had this vision of like a retreat center except i don't know where and i'm a little suspicious that me getting involved in this child care center and getting this training is going to give me tools for something later on it that is. I'm going to use. Oh, your tool belt's going to be full. I love it. I love it. What a humanitarian project. Yeah. Keep that yeah. in the back of your mind. Yeah. You can get help with that. Lots of people are going to want to help you with that. I'm talking like a full-blown nature type retreat center in the mountains for healing yes. and maybe slash orphanage. I don't know. What are we doing with all these children? I don't well, know. What are we doing? We're adopting them. Okay. People like me. Who are older yeah. and we don't have kids suddenly we're going to have them and i'm good with that i'm fine yeah. i like think it took us this long to get to the point where we're like okay we're good yeah give me you a know, little more energy we're good i didn't think all these grand ideas matched but they kind of do because my other one was a sewing factory but not your typical sewing factory more like a cooperative where we each have skills we have the facility yeah. it has the equipment and you're able to come in and make your craft and sell and and help yourself yes or okay. just do it for your family yes yeah yes. okay it's almost like wherever you're going <laughs> you're gonna have to kind of teach them from the ground up they keep telling. yes like teach them how to be parents yeah teach yeah i do it all it's kind of be free range kids like they don't need yeah well like let them do whatever their passion is yeah. And kids are going to be made whole again. Yeah. And I want to teach those home ex skills. Those are the things that nobody yes, else. Because no one's yeah. going to. Yeah. There's yeah. not going to be the drive throughs guys. I'm sorry. There's no, no. It's not going to be. Sorry. You're giving it. Mary, the stuff, is, the stuff is disappearing off the shelves. I, I see the handwriting on the wall that they're just transitioning us away from our dependence on. Well, stores. they are because it's horrible for us and it's poisoning. Yeah. Is but that I'm like. I don't think they're going to replenish these shelves. I think they're just going to keep letting it dwindle. Yeah. I'm very suspicious. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Is that confirmation? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Confirmation. Yes. But we're going to go local. We're going to help yes, each other. Go, local. Yes. You're going to it's go not, like your local butcher, your local yeah, deli. It's not the end of the world. Yes. No. 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 It's actually opening up to a better world. Yeah. And the earth is being made whole, soil will be organic. Yeah. And growing things without Roundup. Yeah. It'll be exciting. Yeah. My daughter's got her little greenhouse set up outside. Already, oh my God. So. I love that so much. Yeah. I love it when kids get their hand in dirt. It's so grounding for them because they can do yeah. it in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. 
she's oh, got the green that. thumb that kid <laughs> yeah but isn't it weird it's like like I never thought I had a green thumb and I brought back more plants from the dollar bin that mm -hmm. like flourished and <laughs> and I'm like okay here we go <laughs> the plants are like Mary's in my vibe <laughs> well, my husband asked me, like, God, the plant we bought like 27 years ago for a buck is like like we're repotting it for like the 20th second time wow. well, it's growing <laughs> yeah that's what my daughter does she rescues them and then grows them big yeah, yeah but I love that I love that so much because they're learning what to to make food yeah and to love the earth and to treat it with kindness I love it yeah oh, it's gonna be yeah. so she's about to graduate high school she does not want to grow up. She's really struggling with this. Well, and she doesn't have to go to college. She knows that, right? Yeah, she does. She okay. wants to be an engineer, and a civil engineer. She really wants that. But I, I'm pushing her to- If you really want it, it's just not going to happen. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, and things are probably going to change before That's she what gets I mean, a yeah. chance. Yeah. Now, my son, he wants to learn- uh, like electrician stuff. Oh, absolutely. Which is any yeah, trade, trades. Any trade. Yeah. yeah. So he wants to do that. Eventually he'd like to do the electrical engineering, like lead it in that direction. But I am like you. I'm really suspicious things are going to change. And they that are. whole that whole need that whole degree debacle is you don't go need away, it. Right? You're not yeah. going to need it. It's a piece of paper. Correct. And your daughter realize that too and she'll probably fall into something that she loves even better. Yeah. I always was awed by the fact which is humorous because I was married at 18. I totally knew about my husband. We were engaged at 16. Could you imagine my parents? Wow. Now I get yeah. it. I get it. <laughs> but like what kid at 18 really wants to know what they want to do with the rest of their life? Yeah. And yeah. work's going to be different. You're going to kind of do it when you want to do it. Yeah. Which is kind of exciting. So like, if you want to work on a project for like six months, it might be in Spain or something. Hey, go ahead. And then you could have like two years off. Well, see, my daughter does want to travel. So I was like, I picture traveling with her and just having fun. Yeah. Yeah. You can certainly and, do that. And learn things. Yes. We, we're both lifelong learners. So I love learning things. Yes. Learn about different cultures and she might get immersed there and just want to stay. Oh my God. She might run she, your she loves Japan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i love japan all the things there are fantastic yeah i am really suspicious she's gonna end up with a foreigner i could just tell like, i think that's fantastic oh i, I think, like that yeah i like yeah. that so much yeah i've given both of my kids wings i i don't i'm it's the best thing you could ever there's do there's codependency on the other side of the family but i'm not having any of it I'm and like, i love that you're not like that because they need to be and what a better greater gift as a parent than to know you brought beautiful people in the world who can manage on their own yeah yeah well they're they're young adults right in the middle of this right how about that timing and the funny thing is I I'm I called myself a late bloomer. I had the first one when I was 33 and the second one when I was 34, yep. thinking I was late. But now look how everything's unfolded. Timing. Yeah. Perfect timing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything happens in divine timing. And yeah. it's it's incredible to watch. Incredible. And I love yeah. it. Yeah, because we've got the religious family members that are all like, you know, the rapture and Jesus is. What would I call it? Armageddon out of here. They're always like waiting to get out of here. And I'm like, yeah. and I'm wondering, Mary, maybe you can answer this. Yeah. If they really are thinking they're going to go, maybe they are going to go. Maybe they are going to go. It, it, it's not going to be the rapture. It's just going to be like their time to go. I, yeah, I don't that's know. what I was just going to say. It's not yeah. going to be the rapture, depending on how on board they get. I mean, they them. literally they're gonna be gonna on the third timeline that's going to be like way yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. And my daughter's like, I want to hope in a future and a marriage and children. Yes. I said, you're going to have all of that. You're going to have all and of that. Your brother, yep. And your brother. And yeah, we're going to be great. Yes, we're absolutely. going to be great. Yep. Yeah, I can see it now. Absolutely. I have a feeling maybe once some of it hits mainstream, maybe some people's minds will change that are very religious. Because when they see yeah. some of the atrocities. Yeah. And the biggest ones are committed in the name of religion. Yeah. Well, I mean, how about these uh tv preachers you yeah. know jesus by day and satan by night that is yeah. and, so, and the artists i mean i was all into the music i sang in the choir 
You know, I can sing. I love singing, but I have not sung in a long, I can't even put Christian music on anymore. I I can't can't put any music on my now. I went to turn the radio on the car the other day. I'm like, I can't. And my husband's (laughs) like, I'm like, no, 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 no. I've gone back to the eighties and nineties. That's where my music. Yeah. yeah, I can listen to that. Nothing. But like the frequency changed in like the (laughs) late nineties of music. And it just went, yeah, they, okay. So no, yeah. Yeah. They turned turned it it down on us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but we got nothing but excitement for the future. Yeah. So when's your next show, Helen? Um, so I'm doing one night a week and it's either Monday or Tuesday, which uh, <laughs> I said to uh, Crystal, I'm consistently inconsistent. You're not going to, I'm not in, you know, etched in stone. And it's because other people's shows keep changing every week. Yes. Yep. They're like, now nah, we're going to go Tuesday or now nah, we're going to go Monday. So I, I just wait and I position it accordingly. Yeah. I'm always on Saturdays for the most part. <laughs> and then I just do videos through the week. You know, they pop yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Especially now, like with working, you know. Yes. You're going to have to find your niche. Yeah. Like Monday might not work for you and you might think you're going to end up being a Wednesday woman. <laughs> I kind of like that though. That would give me but, something to look forward to in the middle of yes, the week. Yes. It's kind of nice. Like it's the middle of the week. <laughs> like, oh, it's like hump day. <laughs> Hump day. Then, yeah, but you can do the Wednesday Adams dance. Like, Mike, 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 Wednesday. what day is it? <laughs> right? Yeah. Our pharmacist, when we used to go old school medicine, his name was Mike and he worked at CBS. So every time we go in there, we're like, Mike, 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 what day is it? <laughs> and he'd answer us. He never cared. And the customers would just start laughing. <laughs> and then Mike left and we left. So we're Aww. like, bye. <laughs> I've done that before. Yeah. What's the point? <laughs> Right. There is no point. It's quite, yeah. it's quite funny, but I love Wednesdays because it's the middle of the week. It's the yeah. day I do my busiest work. I, I'm digging that. I thank you. Yeah, I, you're welcome. I got a nail, you know, I'm, I'm just, what, it, what hmm, I'm just following sort of blindly and getting it as I go. Yep. Yeah. That's how yeah. we all did. So you're doing good. Baby steps. I'm just baby stepping through it. Yep. Well, thank you for coming on and talking to me. I appreciate it. I hope they enjoyed our squirrel journey through they life. <laughs> you guys head over to Helen's channel. I'll put it underneath. Hit like, share, subscribe, hit your notifications. That way she can do whatever day you want, Helen. Yes. Notifications will come up for them. Yes. 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 Thank All right. you. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Yep.